Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm just going to be going over my Ant Miner L3s, just kind of an overview. And this is a follow up to my mining farm update and like all my rigs and stuff. As I said to you guys, I will be showing you once I get my Ant Miners online and running. I have both of them, I have one in there. And currently just one over here, but yeah, we're gonna dive into them I'm just gonna do a quick overview of them and then we're gonna jump over to my computer And I'm gonna show you them on hive os and all their power consumption and what they're pulling in and everything But before we start I just want to take a second to say happy new year to everyone and hopefully everyone has a great and happy and safe and healthy new year because 2024 you never know what to expect with crypto hopefully it ends up being a solid year for crypto but hopefully it's also a solid year for us in general as human beings as well so we'll start with my one amp miner l3 plus here i got it set up not too long ago i have the other one in the cooler that one's been running a lot longer but this one i had to do some repairs on the one hash board was no good on it it wasn't like coming up on the ant miner it was just wasn't working in any of my rigs so i just wrapped it up in tin foil threw it on a griddle and heated it up for a few minutes and it ended up working again so i kind of revived it in a way but yeah this is my one l3 as we see it's fully running and don't mind my fan wiring there i had to wire a new fan extension onto it for a new fan replacement but yeah as we see here we'll take a look maybe a bit loud we'll try to focus it so as we see it's the ant miner l3 plus plus but for whatever reason, it works as the Antminer L3 Plus. I don't know if there's a huge difference. But yeah, I only have it running at 50% fan, so it's nice and quiet even outside the cooler. I mind you, if I had another like cooler for it, it would run a lot better and a lot quieter and a lot cooler. But it just runs outside like this, and it's nice and quiet. Mind you, I'm in an apartment as well, and I'm running two of them, both at 50% fan, and I've had no complaints or anything, plus my GPU rigs. But yeah, in this rig here, this uh, Antminer L3 Plus is currently mining Doge. Uh, with the Antminer L3 Plus, it merge mines, so you're mining Litecoin and Doge. But you can be, uh, you can select to be paid in like strictly Dogecoin, Litecoin, or both. I just strictly do Dogecoin because I make more profit, so it's just putting all the profit into Dogecoin. So yeah, and this is running currently at 660 watts with the Hive OS firmware on it. So if you are uh, running an ASIC miner, there are certain ones that work with the Hive OS firmware and you're able to bring down your wattage and everything right down and you're able to keep the same mega hash, which this one, this one is running at 503 mega hash at 660 watts. So it's not that bad. And like I said, it's nice and quiet as well. And then we'll go take a peek at my other one here. It's the same deal. Except this one's just set up in my proper cooler. So I even had the power supply in there. It's another L3++, but it works as an L3+. I don't know if there's like a software difference or anything. But yeah, everything is working. This one's doing the same deal. It's mining strictly Doge. I am mining to the unminable pool. And these things currently, with the temperatures, they keep around 45 to 55 degrees. So I keep them nice and cool in here because it's right by the patio here. So that's the intake, and then it just blows it out over here. So it keeps it nice and cool, nice and quiet. So if you do have an ant miner, I recommend building yourself one of these. I have it uh, in the, my other overview video there, going over all my rigs, kind of a little more in depth on how I did this. But if you want a video on that, just let me know in the comments below because I will be doing another cooler for this ant miner. So this time I will record the process if you guys want me to but yeah this ant miner is the same deal it's running the hive os firmware and it is pulling 660 watts itself too and like i said i even have the power supply in there so that's why this one's a lot more quieter the whole sound is just compressed and it does not heat up at all because i have the proper airflow running through it but yeah i have it set up out my living room here so there's nice airflow so I have it right by my patio there, so if it ever gets too warm or anything, I can open it up. Since it is winter time, it's like only a few degrees here. So I always leave it in a little crack just for proper airflow, and it keeps these things nice and cool. And like I said, overall, it's nice and quiet because I am running them only at 50% fan. But now we will jump over to my computer, and we'll take a look at the actual stats and just a more in-depth look at it. And then I can show you guys like the profit range and everything. Now we'll jump over to my computer and I will go into Hive OS and all that and show you guys a more in-depth look at it. And that way we can show you guys like the calculations, how much it's consuming in the power, how much it's costing me and how much profit there is with the Antminer L3s. If you are a Doge supporter, I suggest getting one of these. There is a smaller version. There is just the 
uh, Antliner L3. And that one does about, I think, 250 mega hash or like 300 mega hash. And it consumes like less than half of what this is running. And it's a lot smaller, kind of like the Z9 Mini I had. It's just a smaller form of this one. But yeah, that's besides the point. I just wanted to mention that. We'll get over to my computer now. All right, so now we're over on my computer here and we're at my Hive OS farm. And as we see, I have all my farms. So this is my with my GPU rigs and my Antminer L3 Plus. So both of them running and I have about 17 GPUs running. So in total, I'm consuming about 2,411 kilowatts and I'm getting about 1, 1 1.005 giga hash on Dogecoin on the L3 Plus with both of them. And then my GPU farm, I'm getting 552.6 mega hash on Ergo, and then 90.7 souls on, I believe it's uh, Bitcoin Gold or whatever, but it's converting over to Ergo as well, and that's just done on unminable. But the main focus is our ant miners here. So as we see, we have two online. We have a total of eight boards because they have four boards each. So it's two workers online. And my total wattage is 1,320 kilowatts, which is pretty good for running two Antminer L3 Plus. On original stock firmware, they consume about 800 watts of power. So I toned them down to about 660 watts each. So as we see here, we can take a more in-depth look. They're both running 660 watts stable. And here's their temperatures here. So each one is running, like I said, between 45 and 55. Just depends on the board here. So as we see, each thing is just different. But it is nice, like I said, I have nice airflow, nice open space, so that makes a big difference when you're running amp miners. And running them at a lower fan reduces the noise. And then having the cooler as well is a lot more help when it comes to the sound reduction and the airflow and everything like that. But yeah, as you see, you can do some overclocking and tuning in here. But most of it's done on the actual amp miner web browser here. So I just wanted to quickly go over the Hive OS part of it. So if you are wanting to set it up, it does attach to your Hive OS farm. So it's very nice to be able to be on the go and monitor all my rigs and all my farms and make sure everything's running. If there's any issues, I know specifically which ASIC or which rig is going on. So I do like that feature and they came out with the Hive OS like firmware for ASIC. As we see here, we'll go over to the actual web like browser form of it here. So we'll go back to system here. This is the one that's in the cooler. I have them named and everything so I know what's like what one is what. But yeah, it's pretty much the same as the stock firmware. It's just Hive, Hive on ASIC or Hive OS, whatever you want to call it. And then it's the same setup. You just put your Hive OS details in there. And then there's more like, I guess, configuration compared to the actual stock firmware. So if you come over to minor configuration and advanced settings, I think it is, or auto tuner. Yeah, auto tuner, this is where you can set the wattage. So you can crank it, them up to 720 mega hash, but then you're consuming 1300 watts. So right now I'm doing about the same amount of wattage, the 720 mega hash, uh, 1300 watts, but I'm running two of them. So I'm getting around one giga hash. So it still plays out to be the same. So I'm actually benefiting a little more. Obviously, if I had better setup and everything, I could crank it up just a little bit just to bring in a little more mega hash. But yeah, that, these are all the features on Hive on ASIC there that you can do. And they come over to minor stats here. This auto refreshes, so if it keeps flickering and reloading, that's why I like having that feature. But as we see, the temperatures all down here, the PCB and the chip temperatures, all between 45 and 55. So I like to keep it relatively low. I know they can handle quite a bit of heat when it comes to the ant miners, but I like keeping things cool because then it runs more efficiently and more solid. And I know this is, like I said, the one in the cooler because I have it set up as Krebsy Crypto L3, which is just my first one that I did set up. And we come over here. I have the other one running here, the one that's outside the cooler, and it's running relatively the same. Like I said, it's the cooler is more or less just for actual noise reduction and stuff like that. But yeah, you can get all your stats just like the normal uh, Hive OS, or sorry, the normal uh, ASIC ant miner firmware. You can get all the information the same way. It's laid out the same. It just has Hive on ASIC's touch on it. As we see, we're getting 502.034 uh, mega hash. Average is out to about 495 on average because it takes sometimes a few hours to stabilize. But yeah, other than that, they're solid units. I'm currently mining to unminable. And like I said, I'm being paid out in Doge. And then these stats, like I said, are just exactly the same as it would be on a stock firmware. So nothing different there. I'm kind of just doing an overview of it. Just so if you guys are interested in setting it up on your uh, ASIC yourself, you know what you're getting yourself into. Like I said, it's relatively the same. It's an easy setup. All your system information and stuff like that's the same. 
But now we're going to move on to kind of the profitability of what I'm like pro uh, mining and everything and my costs. So I'm just using miner stat. I know it's kind of a rough estimate with all calculators. They're all a rough estimate because the network is always fluctuating. And these just take like the average price. I'm doing a current reward calculation. So on the current market, I'm like I said, I'm getting about 1.004 giga hash. So it's about 1004 mega hash. I'm consuming 1,320 watts of power. My electricity cost is about six to seven cents. So nothing too crazy. And then we just leave it as current and then you click calculate. And then as we see here, I don't really use this one. I just pay attention to the second one then below. On average, I'm pulling in about 90 cent profit. So I'm profitably mining when it comes to the ASICs, which is nice. Like I said, it's nice to see, uh, depending on your electricity rate, the market is coming back to profitably mining. And that's rate right through nice hash. And if you're doing LTC plus Doge, which most people are doing, you're making about 56 cents. So it ranges. Like I said, this is a rough estimate. So if you are doing it through a mineable like myself, you're making about 56 cents to 90 cents a day because you are merge mining. So you're doubling your rewards and things like that. And if you're doing strictly just Doge without any reward system, you're making about 14 cents. And then it becomes negative with some other pools. Like I said, this is a rough estimate. And it just depends how the reward system is set up for the pool. And obviously depends on your electricity cost. But I'm happy to be able to run two Antminer L3 Plus at 660 watts and be profitable. I know it's not a huge profitability. But just to have them set up and now just running. And I don't really have to maintain them much because they are stable units. It's nice, easy income. It's like I said, it's not a huge amount, but at least it's something. It shows signs of the market making a slow comeback, especially when ASICs start becoming profitable again, because these units were out years and years ago when the market was just kind of starting or when it had like a bull run. So it's nice to see that turning around because I didn't pay a lot for the rigs, but some other people have. It's nice to see like profitability wise things are coming back. I only paid about $25 for my one rig and about $30 for the other. So I'll be able to have profitability back within about a month because I'll be making about 30 bucks a month and I'll pay off one rig. So about two to three months, I'll pay myself back on both of my miners. So for myself, that's nothing. But for other people, if they paid full price and things like that. But if you are looking to pick yourself up a nice Dogecoin miner, I would suggest the L3 Plus or just the original L3. And then you can put the HiveOS firmware or there is Awesome Miner. There's a few other firmwares as well. But I find HiveOS is the easiest to deal with and setting up and everything. And you can maintain it along with your GPU farms on the HiveOS layout here. But yeah, that's all I pretty much got for you guys today. Like I said, I just want to do an overview. So if you guys want to set this up for your uh, ASIC miner for your L3 Plus or your S9s or whatever one they can do. Because there's a list on their website. I'll post the link in the description. So you can go ahead and check it out. And then if you guys do want to get it set up and you're having issues, just let me know in the comments or I can make a video on it if you are interested in that. But yeah, if you guys want, make sure to join my Discord. The link is in the description if you want to chat with me or just get involved with some information. I'm trying my best to keep up with the Discord. It's never really been my thing. So it'd be nice to have some moderators or I'm setting up some bots and things like that to get things, you know, just more active in my Discord if you are wanting to join. But like I said, it's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy or if you got some information from this, make sure that like and subscribe button as it lets me know. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.